Hi, I'm the executive director of a foundation, the Amy Cross Rosenthal Foundation, and Sarah, at her previous professional incarnation um, with Ted, um, knew Amy Cross Rosenthal, who was a Ted contributor speaker. I, being a new startup um, nonprofit working on a first event, we were really. I was gonna just use like all volunteers and uh, host committee people, and I really hadn't even thought or, or known of like, oh wait, there's organizations or companies like Happily that could just provide staff, you know, independent contractors to come do it. So um, that's how I learned of Happily and um, got connected for some pre-party planning and data. <laughs> Happily came back and said, okay, why don't you interview these two people for the production manager person position. I um, interviewed both people really easy, like helped me set up calls. And um, I don't recall exactly if I gave like a window of availability or they had suggestions. I, I think I, they probably asked me when I was available. And, um, and they helped set up the call and sent the, to be more specific, they sent, you know, the link which again, as the nonprofit, I don't even have like the Zoom. I I'm sure like I could register it for or something, but I don't even have that. So, you know, just to have a link that I was supposed to sign in and interview some someone um, for a very small nonprofit was amazing. And um, I'm the background is sort of I do almost everything for the organization that I do work with an independent contractor who does some um, technical uh, design stuff and website work but um even having like the help of coordinating these meetings was like was great you know so i was like really old school um and so at the last minute we decided to look into different technologies like a text to give or a mobile technology and allison was like incredibly um invaluable to me with that process like just because i work very much alone i do have a board i do have a host committee but those people didn't really have this type of experience either and um for me i think that was like the most critical piece was just to have somebody that had experience with putting on an event and event planning to talk to and kind of connecting the dots on, on how some of the technical things might work um and issues to be aware of well then you know she was asking really great questions. Well, then, what, what, you know, what kind of receipts are you going to give on site if you do the technical thing? So that was really, really helpful to me, and I very much felt like this was a really important event, and it really needed to go perfectly. And it's, you know, very important. So we need to, you know, be sure that everything is taken care of. And, and that was just really great to see from somebody who doesn't have a vested interest in the long-term um, sustainability of the organization necessarily. I mean, she was definitely going to come for the day and might never see us again. She doesn't know. So to just feel like your event is, is that important was really nice. I, I felt more confident that things were going to go okay once I connected with Sarah and found out happily. Like, I mean, I think I was sending her letters that might have been slightly inappropriate of how Mike was sharing my happiness and excitement. And, <laughs> I mean, I went from not sleeping to sleeping a little bit more. So it was really a, a huge relief to, um, to to know that there would be other people that had like experience that we were going to be okay and they knew what to do if the computers went down and, and you know and everything would be canceled. So.